of this once again an honor to be in your presence as I have served this platform many times in the past years um, both as a student a medium a healer and in many other capacities but today I want to share with you some words of wisdom on awakening your inner sage which is one of the lessons that I'm, we're currently studying with those students so this may sound familiar, or if not as a reminder. <clears throat> Awakening your inner sage. I may present a new approach from my own understandings, but what is important <clears throat> of what I present is that you have the discrimination to distinguish between truth, partial truth, or falsity. Remembering that understanding comes through the application of the measure of the truth grasp. That the consciousness expands through the truth gained. That there exists in our material universe, our manifested universe, the expression of an energy or a life force, the one life which pervades all forms. Those forms are the expression in time and space of the central energy known to many of us as infinite intelligence. That one life manifesting through all matters produces a third fact, and that fact is consciousness. That's what we are. We are consciousness and expression of God, of the infinite intelligence, which is the result of the union of spirit and matter, known as the soul. <clears throat> that in various stages of consciousness may realize its vibration that we may know ourselves. The first divine aspect, the will to power, which is from the seventh race, and those that again that are in my class understands what that is. The seventh race is also known as the seventh spirits before the throne of God. Okay, that is the first ray, the ray of will and power, referring to God's will and God's power. To embody the soul as an aspect of an effect upon the individual in terms of consciousness and the development of the soul. This is the essence, the will to love, in relation to the development of the personality, the third divine aspect, thereby it's simplifying the will to know. To know oneself is the greatest gift that you can give yourself. For knowing yourself, then you can better understand your fellow man. The word sage, a profoundly wise person. But what does wise mean? Wise, it's showing the judgment and the benefit of experience. Truth should be sought by reflection, by purity of life, by devotion to the highest ideals, and regarded as a price to be striven for and not as dogma to be imposed by authority. Individually, we may be regarded as a vehicle through which the self-expression of the highest moralities of the individual and the experience gained by the unit of that spiritual existence. With its evolutionary field imprinted with the attributes, it shines forth. Such are the great truths from which the foundation of ageless wisdom, the existence of life, and the development of consciousness as it flowers as a perfect soul. Whose nature is light and whose realization is that of self-consciousness identity. This development eventually will merge with full intelligence participation in the greater consciousness of which we are all part of infinite God. Truths form the basis of all religions and which cannot be claimed the exclusive possession of any. To offer a philosophy which renders the intelligible 
and which demonstrates the justice and love to guide in its evolution in which search of truth. Whichever, wherever it may be found, that resonates deep within. Our evolutionary soul or journey is that of the soul. In man, it is consciousness, idealism, morality, and truth. In an awakened man, it appears as comprehension, an abstract intelligence from which spiritual intuitiveness is born. If I should make any statements that does not ring true, there are three choices that you can take. You can either reject it, you can ignore it, or you can suspend it until such time when you discover the truth for yourself. Knowing your purpose in life helps you live life with integrity. And people who know their purpose knows who they are, what they are, and why they are. Today, for many, the terms spirit, soul, and body stands for an aggregate of manifestation, of divine manifestation, both in the deity of the universal God and in the lesser deity of man himself. The triplicity of his dignity or divinity and his relationship to <coughs> the life in whom he loves, lives, and has his being. When you begin to know yourself, then life becomes easier to live with the core values to your true life's calling. There is no greater gift than to honor your life's calling. Knowing your purpose will help you find your true passion, and then passion becomes that important driving force to achieving something great. If you feel like your life has become stagnant, out of control, or boring, or you find yourself asking questions like, what is life all about? Why am I here? What is my purpose? Then be reassured that it is your inner sage seeking to answer these questions. Realizing that connecting with your inner sage requires time and commitment. The answer to these questions lay patiently waiting in your very soul. <clears throat> you have need to realize that the soul is ruled by serenity, by tranquility, in searching for the truths. That glorious spirit that we all are, that divine spark of infinite spirit. Deep within our very being lies this <coughs> priceless treasure being awaited to be discovered. It has always been there, it will always be there. This treasure is your inner sage, your soul's wisdom. It is that inner space that is light, it is forgiving, it is the space that holds your love, that holds your desires, your goals, and your infinite potentials. In Eastern traditions, the sage is discovered through the practice of meditation and of quieting the mind. Begin with a daily practice or a ritual that has a purifying and cleansing effect at a soul level such as journaling, prayer, meditation, or a walk in nature. Something that you do to draw your attention inward for everything that we seek is within. <clears throat> what brings us home to our inner sage is always this. Who is it that's asking the question? What is my purpose in life? The minute you ask this, you break the trance. And the mind fades into the background. Thereby making a connection with spirit, your spirit, those spirit guides that surround us, 
that encompasses with your unconditional love to bring us peace, to bring us balance, to bring us harmony, and all that which is for us, our is good. If a spirit remains, because spirit is the sage, and our connection is why we are here, and it gives us purpose, and it gives us life meaning. Your inner sage is your deep down wisdom, your knowing. And like a spider, we need to return again and again to rebuild the webs by bringing together the threads of our lives and uniting them to that divine center within. Spiritual development is the discovery of your true soul and being a projection of the God, the God force, infinite intelligence. So many of us, when faced with challenges and adversities, we automatically search for something outside ourselves. To either heal the pain, to deny the pain, or to find an answer. Some will take the road of addiction, others will take solace in yet another relationship, and still others will go on an endless search for enlightenment. Hanging on to every word spoken or written by the latest self-proclaimed master. Whatever the road, if it leads you away from yourself, it is not serving you. Assessing you in a sage through intuition is not difficult. It takes commitment, it takes a little practice, and it takes time. There may come a time <clears throat> in form of gut feelings about something, a mental picture, spoken word in your head. And when this happens, take notice. Better yet, follow through and take action. Every man, every woman has the potential to become awakened. Following the guidance of their inner sage, we ask as we evolve the mechanism response or the vehicle of consciousness also increases. When we connect to our higher self, we participate in the knowledge of the object and thereby climbing to the, to the mountaintop of vision, our perspectives change and the horizon expands and we come to the realization that we are spirits indulging in physical experience. You are who you are without any labels. Remember that the definition of spirit is not possible, nor is the definition of God. We can only come to the realization of that divine spark within. Remember that our minds are finite, and that, <clears throat> that there are things that we cannot know, which no finite man can know. Wise indeed is he who by contemplation, meditation, knows and understands truth, which is written in the temple of nature which leads to the great and critical transformation of instinct to intellect, to a cause greater, a transference in the human consciousness, from intellectual perception to intuitive knowledge, because physical, mental, and spiritual germinations demands the uncovering of the mantle of darkness knowledge, understanding, and religious experiences are the greatest power to overcoming ignorance, to understanding our true nature, to understanding our true selves, that divine spark within. When you are ready for something more than philosophy, for metaphysics, or orthodox religion, you are then ready to know the greatest knowledge that grants love,
wisdom and spiritual freedom. And I wish you many blessings on your journey to awakening your inner sage.